1470 Newington, Virginia 22122. All the information is in the description section or the about section of the channel. And also, if you want to support us, it's patreon.com slash currency365. We also have Cash App and we also have PayPal. Everything's in the description section. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video. And it's all going up. Their bills are sometimes going four times. Like I'm hearing people saying their gas bill's gone four times in a month. What it used to be. Well, it's crazy. Yes, it is crazy. It is crazy. But this is what has to happen to force the hands of, of, of the politicians, to force the hands of the central banks, to force the hands of, you know, that are feeding the people. And, and fortunately, there's suffering, you know, in transition. A lot of suffering. Yeah, a lot of suffering. And we're Karen, I have to interject. Mm-hmm. On March 27th, and I'm reading um, in regards to the G7, that the energy ministers of seven countries are not going to accept the ruble, and they are France, Germany, Oops, <laughs> sorry. France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United States, and uh, United Kingdom, and Canada. Hmm. So talk about it would be interesting to see, uh, to follow those countries. And they're accepting the ruble as they're going to pay with the ruble, you're saying. Is that what you're no. saying? Oh, they're refusing. They will not accept it. Okay, that makes sense because, you know, I did go to trying to buy, I was trying to buy Russian ruble, and Canada has blocked it. They won't allow it to be bought or sold in Canada. So that makes sense. Um, it would be interesting for you guys to try to buy some Russian ruble in the U.S. because maybe they're doing the same. The U.S. is a little different. Um then Canada, we run a lot differently. Like uh, they can um, hit all of our provinces. We only have 12 provinces. We're not like as many states, so it's a little bit, a um, little differently run by our federal or federal government. Okay, wow, that's very interesting. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Anybody else? Karen, may I bring up something as relates to your conversation with Jeff? Sure. Love it. So, so there's something uh, Johnny's been talking about, which, which he refers refers to as a flash crash. Mm. But it, what was hitting me in terms of tsunami, there's sort of a flash receding of water before the worst first wave comes in. Mm. The water freakishly goes out, then the wave comes in. So there may be something there, Jeff, and and for all of us in terms of what the Lord is laying on uh, Maria's heart and others about a short flash crash and then a, a, a tsunami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I was thinking that. That's I amazing. I also had it sort of revealed to me there's another black swan event coming. But um, I wasn't sure if we go for a bit of a run in April and then we have a black swan. And uh, and it's going to be very dramatic. What I was shown is like it's going to drop very suddenly and it's going to rise again very suddenly. Something unprecedented. Yes. yes. It will make the news all over the world. Uh, it will going to go down and it's going to go back up because the money is going to come into crypto and it's just going to flash crash and then just go back up in a short period of time. Um, exactly. As we transition to the new financial system. Mm. But, so, uh, but my very is, interesting. Like, uh, my thinking is what when you know the timing of these things is so difficult. Um, it is, and it's it's where the money is really. If mm -hmm. you can time as close as you can get to it, um, that's really um, the game, I guess. Um, well, but, yeah. can I say this? We need to ask God about the timing. You know, the Bible says if you if you want if you need wisdom, ask the Lord. So we need Lord right now. We need. Yeah. Yes, we can ask him. He always says to me, Karen, just ask me. And I'm thinking, well, what am I going to ask you, Lord? You know, like, um, but uh, we have yeah, not because we ask not. To know what to ask. Mm -hmm. So right now we just ask the Lord to give us the timing of the black swan, the, the timing of the dip. Uh, guide us, lead us, reveal to us, whatever, Lord, guide us to that.
timing uh, and so that we can align with what is coming out prophetically. That's one thing, too. We want to be aligned with everything that is coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he says he will align us, but we have to be sensitive to that. Anybody else? That's an interesting comment, I think. Um, There is, I believe, like he was saying, in a tsunami, the water recedes first Mm -hmm. before the wave. Um, And that may be interesting. Yeah. Can I say something, Karen? Absolutely. Hi, Beth. Hey, how are you? Um, And it's interesting what you're saying. Um, I think about like Twisted Christian has been talking about a prophet, and I can't remember his name. I think it's Christopher. Um, I don't remember his last name, but um, he's had some prophetic words about Bitcoin crashing to almost zero. And I think Maria, Dr. Maria Connell has talked about it as well and getting some buy orders in at like 10 cents um, so that when it recedes, you can pick up the bit, the cash from the Bitcoin and the, when it goes back up and then put it into the Sheba and the Sheena and whatever else. Mm-hmm. So anyway, cash still, flow, right? Exactly. Yeah. I love that yeah. thing. I love that thinking. Now, whether it goes down to almost zero, what that means, I know Benny was telling me, Karen, the elite, and I I have to be careful. I'm pretty sure he's, I can only share things that he's released publicly. But anyway, he doesn't believe, I'll just tell you this, he doesn't believe the um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin will go close to zero. But it will feel like it because it is going to go so low that people are going to think it's going to collapse. So there's still a low point, whether it ever go to to, um, 10 cents or something to be between us. I doubt it Um, because it's pretty high. But think about uh, what 10 cents would be in the Bitcoin world. It might be closer to 100 or 150 dollars that would still be and a, a crazy significant loss for bitcoin holders and it would make them think it was going to completely leave i think it's good i, I love the way you guys are thinking let's grab some cash so we can put it somewhere else maybe stock up a bit of food for uh, with good prices and you know do your thing uh pay off some debt and 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 move forward anybody else okay um i'm going to also play i had one other thing i wanted to share with you yeah somebody said what prophets i don't really follow any prophets uh to be honest with you uh i let god guide me if he needs to speak to me about a word uh from a prophet that i find significant that he wants me to know i i don't literally like oh i gotta see what this prophet's saying again uh some of the things sometimes you know there's a lot of stuff out there it can get kind of confusing um i'm not saying i'm confused but i always go back to the lord myself to find my peace he is my anchor in all of this the lord is our anchor what does that mean that means we need to go back into him get anchored and and follow his voice and follow uh his lead and his guidance now this lady her name is amanda grace um i find her to be honest with you i find her a little weird (laughs) she's got so many animals like parrots and like unusual animals she's just a very unusual lady she's italian uh, she's a very devout Christian. I, 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 I do appreciate her. Don't get me wrong. And I'm saying she's a false prophet. Um, but I do like the fact that she was saying, even I was listening to this, uh, the Lord led me to, to listen to this. And she was saying, I don't get prophetic words that often. She says, when I do, she said, the Lord, they're quite significant. Uh, you know, maybe one a month or, you know, something like that. Uh, but she says, I have to wait on God. I have to, um, you know, just wait uh, and spend time with him and wait for him to uh, download uh, to her a significant prophetic word. So I appreciate that. And that shows me maturity. And sometimes what you're seeing in prophets today is immaturity. What are they immature? They're immature in their gift. 
Okay, they're immature uh, in their gift. That's why, like Maria, is trying to uh, mature in the gift that God has given her, understanding what God is speaking, how He's speaking. I find with um, Amanda Grace, uh, she's pretty mature in um, in how she hears and how she even. Um, you know, brings it forth. So I'm going to play this. Um, I thought it, th- th- there was several. It's a little long. If you have to go, this is being recorded and you can listen to it uh, later on. Uh, but I thought it was significant enough to play because there's. she talks about many, many different things, uh, including um, the return of Trump. And um, very interesting. By the way, I just wanted to say I, I briefly listened to the fireside man, Robin Cunningham. And I, you know, I don't, I think I've only listened to the man two or three times at, in total. Not that I'm against him. I just, you know, I don't have time. Um, and I just, uh, the Lord isn't pushing me there. He's just not pushing me there. So I, uh, but I felt pushed today. Every time, everywhere I went, I was seeing it. So I said, okay, God, I'm going to listen. And, uh, he had some things to say, but something stuck out, stuck out to me today. It was today that he recorded it, and he said that in the U.S., it is a, I don't know if it's a law or whatever it is, but when they have an election, they keep the ballots for 18 months, and after 18 months, they are allowed to destroy the voting ballots. And so he's saying because of that, it's not a prophecy, it's uh, just uh, an insight, I call it, that um, they're going to have to push Trump in soon before the 18 months is up. 18 months is a year and a half. Uh, and so he was giving that insight. He felt, you know, God dropped that into him. So that's something to keep in mind as we see things shifting in that direction. That um, whether that affects it or not, I don't know. Like, really, I don't know. Uh, but it, it, I found it interesting. I'm not um, really up on U.S. Um, laws being here in Canada. Okay, I'm going to start playing this, and we can listen to it together. And Find it on Facebook. So this word is coming on the cusp of Passover. The Jewish feast. Yes. By the way, we're entering into the uh, season of the Passover, which is um, when the people of um, of God of Israel were set free from their captivity in Egypt. And so it's a very significant time uh, that we are about to enter into. Um, I think I believe it starts on the fifteenth of the month, if I'm not correct. Sorry, I don't have my calendar. In front of me, here we go. And Wally's on the floor. And he's right here. I'm not even kidding you tonight. Wally, in Jesus' name, you're going to behave because Mommy has important things to do. Come up here. Come on. Eat your almonds. Look at him. Little rascal. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Eat your almonds. I told you. Mommy will give you some paper. Here's Wally's papers that he loves to shred. Oh, there's your shredding papers. You could, don't you make tooting noises at mama. You better be good while mama does this. This is important, Wally. This is important, and we gotta deliver a word from the Lord. He seems so amused. But praise the Lord for this word, let me tell you. This is some word, and this is why, let me say before I read it, I wait on the Lord for weeks at a time sometimes. And the Lord will give me words of knowledge in between, or he'll speak to me, you know what I mean? But I wait on him for these powerhouse words that come forth. They come forth in his timing, not mine. So sometimes it's three weeks or more for these words to come forth, because it's it, God's timing is so precise that I have to wait for it to come forth. And this is coming forth now on the cusp of Rosh Hashanah. I don't believe the Lord did this by accident. All glory be to God. Okay. Yes, I argue with my pets. I know, it's funny. It's funny to watch an Italian argue with their pets. Let me tell you, it's quite amusing. So, this is what the word says. Praise be to Almighty God. All praise. Let me just take a drink of water before we do this. 
I am capitalized, the Lord strong and mighty. I am high and lifted up. The earth is indeed my capital footstool, says the Lord of hosts this day. We are entering a holy time, says the Lord of hosts this day. There is a breaking point that will occur during the Jewish feast, says the Lord. As so Gideon had to break the clay pots to signify as a sign of the destruction of the army of the Midianites is upon them. So very large clay pots in nations shall break. Now, that's a very interesting sentence right there. As there shall be a very threatening and destructive statement made by the leadership of Iran during this time, as that principality is stirring them up to indeed make a power grab at such a time. However, says the Lord of hosts, the net they are planning to lay for Israel, they and Hezbollah and their funders from other countries, okay, their funders from other countries who desire for Iran to do their dirty work, who desire to make Iran an extension of themselves for such destruction against other countries and peoples, so I, the Lord thy God, shall gut open their plan and reveal the inward most parts as two terrorist groups have met in secret and are looking to make a super force of terror of power. However, I, the Lord thy God, am always faithful. I keep my covenants and my promises. And I shall once again rise up against this foe as a major leader within the Ayatollah's court shall suddenly fall as a sign I have gone out ahead of my people to deal with a very power-hungry, corrupted foe. As the Prince of Persia will not capitalize, withstand who I send this time to strike them, says the Lord of hosts this day. A stirring near the Red Sea, watch, says the Lord, watch. The stirring, the movement, and the squabbling as even the infighting within Israeli leadership. So as even the infighting within Israeli leadership shall spill out as the deeply corrupt within Israel are attempting to turn the people to Baal. As there are those within Israel, within Israeli leadership who do not serve me, capitalized, but have gone after Baal and Ra for their power, as they have been corrupted. Now, Ra had to do with Egypt, keep that in mind. As they have been corrupted to gain power any way they can to put forth a dark agenda that is not capitalized of me, says the Lord of hosts this day. Now, the number seven is written here before this sentence, so just keep that number seven in mind. My people need to rise up, capitalized, within Israel. Rise up, capital, my covenant people. Do not fall into complacency. Do not allow leadership to break covenant with me. That causes the entire nation to suffer. O oh, Israel, I am calling to you in this hour to heed my capital instructions. And listen to my capital voice. And humble yourselves before me, capital, as a tripod of nations has desired to sift you. However, I, the Lord thy God, shall have mercy on you, and I shall intervene. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Wow, this woman, I find her incredibly accurate, to be honest with you people. Um, you know, she knows nothing about what we are being taught every day. So she's talking here, first of all, and we're going to go back to about the two terrorist groups. Uh, and, you know, Benny has often mentioned that, that they're bringing in another one. Uh, so we're seeing uh, her raising that up as a uh, something that's about to take place. The second thing she talks about, she talked about Iran um, and, and an announcement in Iran. You know, um, I haven't said anything publicly, but I had a dream two nights ago, and uh, in the dream, I was with two men. I couldn't see their faces, and we were like secret agents, or we were on a secret mission. Uh, we we worked, we were organized, we um, seemed to work for a, uh, you know, a high-level authority, but uh, we were like the police, but we didn't have police uniforms, and uh, we were on a mission uh, you're going to laugh to find a white paper. And this white paper, Benny thought it was cryptos, but I don't think so because on the paper, I, I found the paper. We had to go through this house. Uh, we were being, uh, we were talking through, um, you know, the ear 
uh, the talking through how secret um, service talks to each other through their ear things, whatever. And um, I, I heard the Lord say in the dream, go to the front hall. And I thought, the front hall of this house. I mean, we were dodging people. We were sneaking around. I went there, and there was the paper sitting on a small desk, and it had a coat of arms, an official coat of arms printed on it. I've been trying to search for it, and it, but I couldn't see any wording on the paper. But I grabbed the paper, and I ran out of the house. It's like we finished our mission. So there's something happening right now, something to do with a paper from a government. Um, I've been searching through the coats of arms to see if I could figure out which government I have not seen it like that I saw in the dream. I have not seen the what I think is close enough to say this could be true. So we're going to go back to her. She's covering a lot of territory here. Um, you can go back to this and take notes. I find it uh, very amazing what she's doing. Uh, before I go back, does anybody want to say anything? Could Karen, it be did you take that yeah, Trump's coat of arms? Say that again. Lexi? Can you take a look at Trump's coat of arms? Oh, amazing. I am going to look at that. Thank you. I was trying to think, like, what would the Spirit of God be showing us? What would he be showing us? That's really good. Vivian, are you, did you want to say something? Okay, Vivian's mic's open. She probably doesn't do that. Okay. Um, sorry, I think I just uh, took her out accidentally. Sue. Could the paper that you dreamt about, could that be what Russia just released on the Biden family? Oh. Now, there's a thought. There's a thought. 